Well, hello. So today we, I'm going to show you how to add bubbles into a bathtub. Um, if you don't want to deal with the kind of the hassle of putting actual water and bubbles into a baby's bath, it's actually very easy to do it in post. So I am going to just come up here to file place embedded and I think that's different possibly in um, Photoshop elements it might say just place something like that um, okay so here we have our first set of bubbles there's lots and lots of bubbles and suds includes included in the pack in my Etsy shop but this is just ones that I've separated out okay so when it places into your scene it it looks just like this and you can literally just grab the suds and place them exactly where you want them to be and in this case you'll notice it's a little bit darker on this side and lighter on this side and I want the light on my bubbles to and my suds to match my scene so I've got more light on this side than I do over here so I'm going to actually right click and go down here to flip horizontal and that's just going to flip that entire thing the other direction so that my shadows on the other side so i'm going to just move this down around where i want it to be placed in my bathtub so right around in there come up here to the check mark and click on it okay so i'm going to zoom in and click down here to create a mask so that brought up our mask which is now white so that means the entire suds um, overlay is showing. I want it to be black to be able to mask this out. So I'm going to come down here and change to black, grab my brush, make it a little bit bigger. I'm using the right bracket key to make this bigger and I'm just going to brush it off right where I want it to not show up. So you'll definitely want to take your time, zoom in and, and be very precise with this. The more you take your time and the more exact you are, the better it's going to look. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do a very rough sort of messy um, masking job. So something like that. Um, I would want to definitely zoom in and take my time around his arm, make it look um, good. But anyway, so there we have suds in the bathtub. Very easy. But you'll notice if we zoom in a little bit, the suds are actually kind of, they almost have like a yellowish tint to them because they were the picture was taken in a completely different lighting environment. That's super easy to fix. All you do, so this is our suds layer right here. If I click the eyeball, it'll turn it on and off. All you do is add, come up here and add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. Down here, I'm gonna click on this little box that has the arrow with a line through it. That's the clipping mask. What that does is, you'll notice now it has an arrow with a line through it up here. A clipping mask clips whatever you're about to do here on this layer to the layer below. So it'll only affect the suds. All I'm gonna do is turn down the saturation either all the way or almost all the way because I really just want those bubbles to be mostly just white. There's not a lot of color cast in the room, so obviously there wouldn't be much color in the bubbles. So I'm just going to X out of that. And if we zoom in and turn that layer on and off, you'll see that the hue saturation layer took the bubbles from kind of having a yellow tinge to almost no color at all, which is realistic for bubbles in this sort of lighting environment. Every picture is going to be different, so do what looks best on yours. Okay, so now we've got suds, and I could go back through and add more and more suds depending on how uh, bubbly you want this picture to be. Um, I'm just going to stick with the one for now, but I do want some bubbles, so I'm going to go up here again to File, uh, place embedded and depending on which version of Photoshop you use it'll either say place embedded or just place something along those lines um, the pack uh, in in my shop comes with lots and lots of bubbles lots of different varieties of all of these I've just separated these out for the tutorial okay so I went to file place and here we have a bubble so Lots of different things you can do with this bubble. You can drag out the corners to make it larger, smaller. Just grab grab it, move it around. These are all transparent pings. Actually, the no, they're not all transparent pings. Some of them are JPEGs, but very easily to, easy to use as well. Um, 
So just move it around. Play, I guess I'll just put it kind of like right there as if he's looking at it. I'm going to click on the check mark. Okay. So what you notice about this bubble is it's got a lot of different colors in it. Again, we don't have a lot of color cast um, in the room. It's, it's a pretty desaturated scene. Um, so I just, again, want to come up here to hue saturation and take some of that saturation out of the bubble. Oops. What I forgot to do is the clipping mask down here. That's very important because it's going to clip whatever you're doing just to the bubble and it's not going to affect the entire scene. Okay, so somewhere right in there looks a little more natural. I do want a little bit of color to it, um, but we'll just leave it there. And um, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click back on my bubble layer. So here's my bubble layer and here's my hue saturation layer that's affecting the bubble so i'm going to click on the bubble and i'm going to come up here where it says normal i'm going to play with different blending modes maybe someday i'll do a tutorial also on what all of these blending modes do but in essence they it changes the look entirely of the bubble so really what you want to do is just kind of figure out which one looks best for your scene um, you don't have to understand the inner workings of what it's actually doing. Um, I'd say for this one, maybe either lighten or lighter color. Um, we'll just stick with lighten for now. So there's my bubble. Um, and we'll just, we'll just leave it there for now. Um, but you could also move it, move it around the scene. Now, one thing you'll also notice is as I move it around the scene, it tends to look different. Like see right here over this um, highlight, it completely disappears. Then it starts to come back and the shadows, it looks different in the dark shadows versus the light shadows versus the bubbles. So that's easy to work with as well. You just kind of play again with your blending modes. Like let's say I want this bubble to be on the outside of my tub i'm gonna maybe try a different blending mode maybe lighter color works better or a screen or whatever it may be um, so just play around it's actually kind of fun to do i actually like it in here it's a little too big though so i'm going to do Control t and just shrink it down a little bit so i've got bubbles right inside and there you go so there's your little bubble and yeah, so you can just keep adding and adding and adding um, more and more bubbles all over your scene. You can place bubbles out here. Really easy to do. Okay, another thing I want to do is create a little bit of a splash coming out of the tub. And this is in the splash set. So I'm going to go over here. I've already opened it, and this just shows you another way to um, add some of your files. So over here I have splash. I'm just going to click on that and you can't see it very well. It's a transparent ping, but you just grab one of the areas that you can see in the splash and I'm literally just going to move it over to my tub and place it into my scene. Okay, so there it is. And now I can, oops, I can make any sort of adjust, adjustments uh, that I want. So I'm going to do control T and I'm actually going to flip that around so it looks like the splash is coming out over the top of the tub and then I'm just going to place it wherever it looks good maybe something like that it actually looks like it's sort of diving over the top so I'm going to click on the check mark up here and then once again go over to my blending modes and on this one I think I might want to change it to something like soft light I think that looks pretty good you could change the opacity up here make it uh, a little less strong, but I think I like this one at 100% opacity. So that just adds a lot to the to the whole thing. Another thing you can do is I did Control T again. Um, you can you know make it larger, smaller, sort of stretch it out a little bit. Uh, you could also put a hue saturation adjustment layer if you wanted to change the colors. Um, lots of different things these are fully editable so anyway um, that's that to show you sort of how easy it is to to add all of the bubbles and suds and i'm going to go over here and show you sort of a final result okay and here it is i just added a few more bubbles from the from the set in here um, i added 
I think I had a little bit more suds in there too, kind of changed the shapes and sizes a little bit, just played with it. Uh, you, there's nothing you really can't do with these. Added a couple bubbles hanging onto the edge of the tub. So there you have it. Easy to add. Much easier, I think, than, than dealing with putting them in, in uh, the actual bathtub and the mess that you have to to contend with. Now again, I did, this is a very sloppy, quick edit. You'll want to take your time, make sure that you're masking things off precisely. I did it sort of messily, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.